this past Friday's WWE SmackDown. This um, one, you think the crowd couldn't get any worse? They go to fucking Nebraska. <laughs> honestly, I don't know if, if what wrestling territories. Uh, maybe we're sport over in the UK because we don't really do quiet crowds. You can go anywhere in the UK and guaranteed a raucous crowd. Yeah, again, SmackDown kicked off with KO and uh, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn coming out. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, the fucking crowd were dead, but again, you know, I think we've covered that on AW. But um, they come out, uh, talk about the Usos coming for a rematch, yeah. uh, yada yada yada. We kind of knew where it was going. Uh, uh, before actually, before we get to that, I know you messaged me in the week, King of the Rings, not King of the Ring anymore. Nope. No, it's night, of uh, night of Champions, which I'm guessing the match we're going to talk about in a minute is going to happen happen there. Uh, why did it get changed from King and Queen of the Ring? Why is it now Night of Champions again? <laughs> because it's I don't like one. tournaments, pal. Yeah, is this just Vince coming back and going? <laughs> I don't know. Um, no, uh, yeah, any, do we know why? Uh, no, I, not that I. I mean, some of the, one of the people one of the people can come in and probably tell us. I'm, I, I thought it was something to do with maybe holding it off. They're still going to do it, but I don't know if it's just going to be a raw thing or not pay per view. But uh, yeah, they changed it to Night of Champions, which rolls in nicely to what you were going to say about the uh, Sammy and Kevin kicking off SmackDown. <clears throat> uh, yeah, so Sammy, uh, Sammy and KO kick off um, SmackDown, um, talking up a rematch, which I'm guessing is now going to happen at Night of Champions. No, next week on SmackDown. Two weeks. Ah, oh, it's after the draft. Yes. So they. Oh, that's it. They on the draft. On the draft night. So they announced yeah. this week on SmackDown the first night of the draft is going to be Friday the twenty eighth of this month. Yes. Um, do we see a title change, and then the draft happens, and said title goes to Raw, or someone from said title stays on SmackDown and goes to Raw? Could be very interesting. We will definitely. Well, I say definitely. It's hard to predict. We know that Sammy and Kevin do not travel to Saudi Arabia. Sammy's no. from, I can't remember what he, what for nationality, but he's got a nationality in him that, yeah. and Kevin supports Sammy and doesn't go. So the fact that they're doing their tag team rematch in two weeks, and if that pay-per-view is night of champions and every championship is on the line, which coincidentally, that's the same night that Roman Reigns hits 1,000 days as champion, then Sammy and Kevin lose the titles in two weeks. But does that mean that the tag titles split? Raw and SmackDown. Now they have separate champions again. Same with the world and the universal. Is that going to be, you know, this Mm. is the whole point about Triple H, no pun intended, resetting the game. Um, And hopefully they're going to do something with the titles that way. Uh, Opening was fine, but again, it's kind of a bit samey, samey now. Matt Riddle come out. That was of course he did. <laughs> great. Bro. That was awesome. Um, and then Adam Pierce announced, like, as soon as that segment was it's done, official. Matt Riddle was leaning over the rope. Solo, I want you because you've done my neck in, so I could go and have rehab for four months because I'm a druggie. Um, yeah, it was the main event was then announced that it's going to be Matt Riddle versus Solo on SmackDown. As soon as they announced that, I knew how that was going to end. But we'll get to that in a little bit. Um, there wasn't actually, I, I've got in my notes here, there wasn't actually much wrestling on the SmackDown again this week. I don't know what it is with wrestling shows at the minute. They should just rename them talky, promo-y type shows. <laughs> I feel more sorry for the people in the audience. Because you're yeah. turning up wanting to, you know, whether you're, I remember when I was a kid and I went to WWE house shows or when they early days of Raw coming over here. And, you know, you've got a lot of action for your money. The first match on SmackDown was Xavier Woods versus LA Knight. Yeah. Now, LA Knight is really, he. you know, you go back before Mania, he was over. You go back post-Mania, he, he didn't do nothing at WrestleMania. No. Even though was in. They couldn't even squeeze five-minute segment on a two-day event. They nope. couldn't get him on for five minutes. You're thinking, all right, let's get something going now with, you know, he's getting, looks like he, he had a one-night feud with Xavier Woods because we'll get on to him in a minute. So he's, Started another feud backstage for the Intercontinental. Fucking again, Jesus Christ. Xavier Woods beat LA Knight and mm-hmm. what was an all right match. <clears throat> but again, we come back to what we're saying storytelling on AEW earlier. Where are WWE going? We, we get what they old Xavier Woods been because half the new day are cropped. 
you know, they're all injured, so they can't, you know, we get what they're doing with him. But the whole LA Knight thing, what the are they doing with him? What they're doing is they're dropping him out so then the draft. Wins. No, 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 so then he wins money in the oh. bank in June. Do you reckon he does win money in the bank? Don't forget a lot of the guys that win a lot of the guys that win these tournaments end up jobbing before. Just mm. you know, he's definitely gonna be one of the I mean <laughs> it'd be better be in it now, I'm saying this. But um he's too good to be losing every week. Um the crowd is, I mean, I say the crowd still in the crowd with fucking no one this week, but you know, bottom line is, is that he's still over. He's still getting the pops or the cheers. He's still, you know, there. Everyone loves him. Yeah. Okay. So that match come about because he broke a PlayStation 5 controller. To be fair, they're probably about $80. So I, I can kind of understand why Xavier. Yeah. Like so any a reason to start a wrestling match? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> PS5 controller. Um, I, I'm, I'm hoping it's just. As you say, drafts coming up. Smoke Filler. clears from that. Filler. LA Knight is getting what he should be getting. Hopefully, mm. they they then announced the draft uh, after yes. the executive <clears throat> woods. They just Michael Cole said, "Look, starting Friday the twenty eighth on SmackDown will be night one of the draft. Night two will be following on Raw on the Monday, and like you said, that's the week before." I also heard over the weekend that, that all three brands are going to be represented. So okay. there you go. Yeah. So yeah, NXT are going to be involved. Uh, so yeah, I mean that might reignite a fire that it kind of. We said this though. We said before <laughs> Mania, you said there's always that little. Yep. After Mania, we're now experiencing it. Happens every year. Yep. Every single year without fail, you kind of they've got to you know restart the car again after after WrestleMania. You know, it's kind of it's kind of parked in the garage on a few cold nights, and they kind of need to reignite something. Uh, we then had a really weird backstage segment with Gunther, and Xavier Woods rocked up next to him playing his trombone. Um, <laughs> Gunther mm. said he'd grant him... An, uh, is he, is, so Xavier Woods, it looks like Xavier Woods is going to get a... Next week. Next week, he's going to get an... I, what? Again, I'm like... What? How? how why? Wh how, where's Seamus coming out going, hang on a minute? Where the fuck are you getting? We, know, we, and we, all we know, know Drew can't come out because he's kind of, you know, he's literally blacked out if you follow Drew back. I don't, I, I, I will say this about this whole blackout shit. It's been done before. Mm. Liv, be Morgan, story. Liv Morgan done it. Seth Rollins done it. Coincidentally, before they turned, or well, one of them turned heel. So, you know, <laughs> Won't read much into him blacking out that sort. Of. Funny enough, they say, Oh, he's got rid of all WWE mentions, yet he's handled Drew McIntyre at WWE. Uh, WWE yeah. So, yeah, it's just probably doing it to play up whatever's happened. Maybe he turns on the on the draft night. Who knows? Uh Xavier and Gunther, Xavier's just gonna be fodder next week. Squash match <laughs> incoming. But where the hell he got a title shot from is beyond me, as you rightfully pointed out. Storytelling, mate. It's not lazy it booking. As Jim lazy, that's said. all it is. It's very. It's like let's <clears> just get to the draft. Let's get to Night of Champions, and then at least they've got something to get to. <laughs> yeah, they. Yeah, they. Unlike AEW, are just dragging it out for the sake mm. of dragging it out. Yeah, that's the only good thing. WWD of a pay per views once a month. Um, mm. we then went to the Judgment Day. Um. Popping up everywhere all of a sudden. Yeah, no Finn Balor though. Uh, right. Still uh, in, not in a good way. <laughs> yeah, but he was on um, the previous week's Raw. I yeah, but I up. think they gave him. A, I think he won't forget he wasn't meant to be on Raw last week. This week. could you not have him walk out though? There's no explanation. You know, you may have these factions. No, don't get me wrong. He's injured. I get it. You've got to be at home. You've got to rest. I get it. But at least mention him. But I think they did, did they not? Did they not mention it that he was? Oh, I might have been having a little snooze, but, if, but if, I didn't hear him. I thought they mentioned Finn. They... I thought they mentioned Finn was at home or Finn was. I okay, can't... I'm sure. They, they. I heard the word. I Finn. would say I'd go and watch it back, but I ain't gonna. I I, I was watching it at twenty past six in the morning, so yeah, I, see, I, I could have I been was, sleeping. Yeah, but I'm pretty watching. sure they said he's at home or he's not here tonight. They, I'm certain they mentioned Bala at some point. Yeah, uh, it was uh, priest. <clears throat> uh, took on uh, Escabia. Escobar. Escobar, that's him from the LWO. Uh, not bad. No, but again, oh, probably one of the only wrestling, decent wrestling matches on the card. There weren't many wrestling matches on this card. No. Uh, the LWO come out, Ray mm -hmm. kind of teasing a match at Night of Champ, but Bad Bunny somehow going to be involved. Backlash. Oh, yeah. Backlash, it's going to be the LWO 
I'm guessing with Bad Bunny versus the Judgment Day. Bad Bunny could be the ref. Bad Bunny. Or a Bad Bunny could just be in, it could just be Ray Santos Escobar and Bad his Bunny. last match in WWE, Bad Bunny. He's good. Bad Bunny's all right. He's I've seen a lot worse. Oh god, yeah. I've you know Pete Rose and God knows you know um... even Ty even Mayweather was shit compared to. Oh those. god, yeah. Supposedly broke the big show. He did actually break the big he show. He did break the big show. Um, yeah. Again, mate. It's it's another one where I was watching it thinking. I guess as wrestling fans, you kind of get used to this after Mania. Lol. As long as, as long as it's just a, a small lull and not a lot. Because not WrestleMania year. was so fucking good. And it had to be because it's just the biggest show of the year. Yeah. But because the biggest show of the year is so early on in the year, yeah. you've now kind of got to like... But in their in their thing, it's the end of the year, isn't it? Yes, they, they, yeah. They, it, their How reset they? button is Raw after Mania. And it's, they, got, yeah. they, they always called it the first day of the new term. Yeah. After Raw, you know. People come back, new stars are called up, or this year. Or they just do back. fuck all for three hours. Yeah, I didn't. or they just bring me Matt Riddle and I just want to turn off the telly and slip my <laughs> Um Yeah, so who knows? Rey Mysterio come out at the end of the match. Uh, we then have uh, Liv and Raquel come out, um, kind of. Yeah, I, I, put, I made a coffee at that point. Yeah, I, I, funny enough, in my notes, I have put uh, went, to made t- went to make tea. Um, mm. When I made a cuppa. Come back and they were still babbling on. Uh, uh, Sonia Deville and Chelsea Green come out and yeah, yeah. Who, I'm guessing that Liv and Raquel are going to drop the titles at either Backlash or Night of Champions. Yeah, more than likely, it's just to who. Um, I can't. I mean, I think they've got their their that next week. It's them four. Is it? Another great reason to tune into Friday Night's Man. Honestly, to be man, fair, what I would really say this. podcasts, haven't we? I, I know. Sorry, guys. I would say this. Chelsea Green's a lot better than what she at what they're making. Oh, her. she's amazing. She's a great talent. Yeah. Sonya isn't exactly bad. To no, be fair. it's just the way the storylines are put in and the presentation of them. I mean, she's you know she's not even an MMA. Liv, Liv is unbelievably good. Liv, I, um, we, we I don't know. <laughs> this you're not, you're not Liv is, Liv's oh, she's improving. Uh, lives in I like Liv. I would, I would take her for a steak meal. She's... <laughs> yeah, but this is, we're having a, this is a conversation, <laughs> and this is wrestling, not not whether or not you not Tinder. You know, okay, podcast. No, oh, sorry, but yeah, I, I don't know what's going to happen. And, and it, it, we're talking about uh, booking and builds right now. We said it for AEW with Jeff Hardy coming back and Shinsuke Nakamura. Yes. Oh, what? What? The return was what? If you go back and uh, I think it come up on, was it The Bump or something on WWE Network or something like that? Uh, his entrance at uh, a takeover and then he come out at NXT and so the guy hype and the crowd. The yeah, the hype and the crowd. How about to SmackDown last Friday, mate? Jeez, she must have right. thought, how have I come back to this for? I mean, what did you make of that? He come. It's a squash match against Madcap, but um, that's not slowly really turning heel. I take it. Yeah, apparently so. What are they going to do with Shinsuke? What's he going to get involved in? Is it again? Is it just get to the draft and see where he goes? Yeah, I, th- I think it's a safe bet. That it's just get. To, I think it's literally just get to the draft at the moment, and then they'll. Well, then That's they'll, for all of it. WWE right now. I think it literally will be because then they'll have to reset, start new feuds, and and whatnot. Um, Shinsuke is just so again. He's another one that is just so good. What 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 do with one world title at the moment? I'm not saying he should be world champion, but you still think you still got AJ Styles to come back, yeah. Randy Orton, R- Randy Orton, hopefully eventually, maybe Big E. I don't know what you know when he's got to have that appointment soon, or if he's had it, I don't know. Mm. Whether he's, he's going to have to retire or, or come back. Where do you do? Yeah, what? You know, if you're not going to do anything with him, send him back to NXT. Just mm. Give him something because he's too talented to be beaten. People like Madcap, Bloody Moss, or whatever his name is. Yeah, um, ten seconds squash match. Yeah, and then in Carry and Cross. He's, now that's a feud I'd like to see, but again, they've not Carry and Cross come back. He come in, he come in dominant in NXT. They put him in like a gimp mask or whatever when he come up to Raw, and he was atrocious because of the presentation was just they didn't bring Scarlet with him either, mm-hmm. and that makes I mean obviously it makes the presentation good for every, a lot of reasons, but <laughs> make that's part of the whole presentation of Karrion Cross. Um go back to I'd say him go back to fucking impact where you were killer cross and just 
do it because it I'm saying just a slight slide impact have been smashing it recently I've been watching it five sellouts of their last pay-per-views okay just saying. Well, uh, <laughs> start watching some more impact um oh, bad news for Mickey James hopefully she yeah, doesn't that's I not going to her be speech that. yeah I saw her speech um hopefully it's just a bump in the road <clears throat> okay cool hopefully she hasn't retired uh just before we get to the main event Yep. Uh, the Viking Raiders attack Strowman and Ricochet backstage. For no Sets time. up the match for next week. Sets up a match for next week. Great. I like the Viking Raiders, actually. Ricochet and Strowman. Well, I like it. I like them. I mean, the Viking Raiders, and going back to the conversation with, with Beers and Beatdowns on Thursday, is they are a team. Mm. They've always been a team. They were a team in Ring of Honor. Together. War Machine, I think it was, in Ring of Honor. So they wasn't as if they're just two guys plucked out of the roster. Very good in NXT. Yeah, and a bit like Strowman and Ricochet, they were we ain't fuck knows what we're gonna do with you. We'll use this storyline to bring you together and we'll just see how you get on, so to speak. Um but if this was, you know, we're talking like Vince Russo kind of book in here, Viking Raiders would destroy him because they're a tag team and the other two ain't. Mm. Yeah. But we're not in that world of that reasonable booking anymore. We are not in the nineties anymore, my friend. Um <laughs> solo versus riddle was the main yes. event. Uh the main point I took from this was the Paul Heyman promo right at the start, uh, when he said Roman Reigns is losing patience and he looked directly at the Usos without and pointed to the other two. Pointed at the others, but looked at the Usos. If you're half clued up and know you're wrestling, you kind of know what's coming and where the tribal chief is going to go when we next see him. God knows when. Two we'll weeks at least. Got to be drafted. Got to be on the draft. Yeah. So we won't see him next week. It, 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 this, we might as well just save this podcast and just redo, just change the names next Friday or next week. I think it's just be the same. But yeah, um, again, solid match. Um, solo obviously wins. It ended up with dumping Riddle under the table. Yeah. What did you make of it, mate? Did you... I thought it was okay. You sending the fans home happy? Probably not. Well, what fans? They didn't deserve, well, to, they didn't deserve to be sent yeah, home happy. Fuck them. They didn't really <laughs> deserve much. But um, Again, I, it, we, I might even call this podcast, I might even name it Filler. Again, it just... <laughs> It's, it just kind of seemed that way. It just kind of, that's the way wrestling's been this week. A lot of, lot of filler. And I it's think we're going to be, match. yeah, it was okay. I think we're going to be doing filler for WWE at least for another week or so, week and a half, two weeks before we get mm. to the draft. I think that's how it's going to be. Um, yeah, the match, I look, the match itself was fine. Um, it was obvious that so, I mean, you, I know we'd have only just come back, but you can't have Solo lose too many. Mm. Especially if you've got big plans for the guy, he come out and said problem solved because that on on socials after he done it. The Paul Heyman bit was the most telling when, as you said, when he looked at the Usos and he pointed at Sammy and Kevin. So you kind of see this could be where they say if you lose this match, you're out of the bloodline, and then they win, but then they get drafted, so they mm. technically lose. So they're out. Yeah. The, in the, in that, and the bloodline go on two shows. Although they have been, I know they have been on both shows for the last six months. Yeah, but... it's the draft, an actual draft at the end of the day. Come on. Please. Well, it is until they want to change. I mean, what was it? What did they do before they done the draft? They went, oh, but these guys, you can pick three guys a week to go on your show. Yeah. What's the fucking point? Yeah. Like, if it's a draft, it's a draft and it's done and you should be on that show and you shouldn't go elsewhere unless it's Survivor Series when they go against each Four other. Versus... Or versus SmackDown. Yeah, exactly that. But on Raw this week, I think Brock's back. Yep, I saw that. So that will be confirming his match with Cody. I can't remember. Oh, they I did see it. Oh, I can't remember what it is. Something else is going to happen. <laughs> I think some early plans happen. have already been leaked, actually. Um, Something's going to happen for the three hours that we've uh, got Raw <laughs> on for, mate. Yeah, it's going to be bad. It's been an interesting week of... Uh, Pro wrestling. Well, we've right? had we've had a better week. We've had a very good week. I'm going to let you. If you've put in some, you know, you've had a great week, mate. Let's don't use you know you te- let me talk we're, about we're, we're, we're a team. We are a team, my man. But yeah, uh, you have pulled some strings this week, my friend. Uh, pulled some rabbits out of a hat. You booked better than any booker in WWE and AEW oh, ever in a minute. See what I've done there. Uh, why don't you tell our listeners and our YouTube uh, fans what we have got coming up? Because we okay, so all booked. Yes, so obviously, well, this week, for example, we'll have our normal reviews, but on Thursday, we're sitting down with Santina Marilla for a very brief 45 minutes. We've got to be quick on that one. So uh, he's a busy man, as he's a director of Authority Impact Wrestling. Mm-hmm. On the Friday, we've got Jeremiah Plunkett from NWA. Uh, so 
reasonably late podcast at nine. The following, and then the Monday week, we've got Sal Rinalo from NWA again. That's going to be a, a late one. I think that's about 11 o'clock. We might have to be doing that in the sleeping bags. It's a late one, but hey-ho, it is what it is. That's the American time zones for us. Mm-hmm. Then on the Wednesday, the 26th, which was one of my bookings for last week, we have the prof- well, the former professional dart player, now commentator and coach and diehard wrestling fan, the asset Paul Nicholson joining us. A very early podcast on that one, but um, never let you, maybe in your truck, who knows? Could um, be on the road then, mate. I will try my level best if to not, you, my friend. It will just be me and uh, good old Paul. And I'm really looking back. It was one of them on my bucket list. Too. Yeah, he's a huge Western fan. Ask him about that entrance at the PDC. Oh, I'm terrible. going to. Uh, that's part of the plan. Yeah. Um, the week after that, and Beers and Beatdowns even gave me the, the great, uh, these the, that this was great, that we booked Flash Morgan Webster on the 4th. And then the following week, we managed to get uh, probably one of the greatest tag team wrestlers of at least the 2000s, maybe of all time, with Red Dragon. He was part of the Undisputed Era. He's a combat sports artist, and he's apparently a doc. Well, he said the doctor on the tweet. And listen, when the guy tweets it himself, you know it's happening. Bobby Fish will be joining us on the 11th of May for a conversation. A good old chinwag. Um, so we are very much looking forward to that. Aside of that, we've obviously got Ignite Pro Wrestling on the 30th of April, which I'm definitely going to. You may be there. I, um, I am. I can't tell you how busy I am that weekend. I have got, I'm down in Galston. It would mean driving back to London to back to Galston. Or I can just do it. I'll, t- I'll bring the other half along. We'll, we'll you do see, you and the missus are the ones for the live events at the minute. You know, I'm yeah. kind of, yeah, I'm we'll see, because football takes up so much of my time now. Football season's come to an end. Yeah, you've got a lot of, you got a lot of IKEA. Like, <laughs> yeah, there's, I've got a lot of IKEA away, uh, and family <laughs> away, uh, family away at the seaside. Uh, maybe. Um, um, yeah, no, if I can, I will definitely try and make it. Um, so we, they, we've got that in June this fourth. Oh, hang on. Yes, I'll again. Uh, me and the missus are heading off to uh, back to Jurassic Pro, um, for Primal Instincts, which is coincidentally uh, one of the tag teams there. The lads, their last, the last time they're tagging together in Harwich. So I've got an exclusive with them, by the way. That's all booked. Looking forward to that, my friend. Exclusive one, and of course, we've got our grand show ourselves. Buckle up, <clears throat> which... we do. In the coming weeks, well, I'm going to be there for Ignite's uh, bitter end on the 30th. So there will be an announcement then, uh, probably about, or there will be an announcement about the show then. Um, obviously, we've got the big announcement on the show of Buckle Up that we can't get to. But, uh, and also, um, we I've done a, a little, had a little chimwag with beers and beatdowns after the uh, <clears throat> podcast on Thursday, uh, which was, again, it's actually one of our most viewed podcasts on YouTube, funnily enough. Um, they we're also going into a partnership with them for their next clothing range. Oh, check us so out! We will be having a uh, our logo on their shirts. Um, we're also talking to Jurassic Pro about expanding our partnership on on fourth of June. Don't know what that entails yet, and also the great Corey McRae has asked if we can do a couple of bits more with him. Um, so. Lots of conversations to be going on behind the scenes. <clears throat> Lots of, uh, yeah, we're getting our name out there, mate. It's uh, build it and they will come, as I always say, ads. Oh. And uh, if you go and get the probably the most popular oh, wrestling yeah. magazine in the country uh, this month's edition, go and get your edition of Inside the Ropes. Take a flick through the pages and you may see a podcast in there that you have been <laughs> listening to recently. Uh, the Hitting the Turnbuckle podcast is uh, we are advertising in Inside the Ropes uh, yeah. this month. The good guys Listen. over at 27 feet is out. Go and buy a copy of it inside the ropes. Uh, those of you go and tell your friends, hit the Turnbuckle podcast QR code will be in there. Go and scan it where you can find myself and Adam and all our link tree, YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, everything. But, um, Ad, it's been a pleasure, my friend, to talk some wrestling with you. We will do this all again later this week. We have some great guests coming on. We have review shows. We've got, so let's hope that wrestling TV is a hell of a lot better than it was this past week. But, uh, let's hope so, let's hope so mate. Let's do it all again mm-hmm. next week, Adam. Until yeah. then, everybody. Buckle down and stay safe.